What's up guys? Uh, Guns for Newbies back here. Just wanted to do a um, unboxing of this EOTech and then also compare it to, let's get this guy over here, the famous RMR. So uh, a couple reasons that I went with this setup. One, um, I wanted to try something new. I also have an SRO that is currently on my um, staccato and I wanted to really try this guy because i just had kind of looked at it. I'm aware of EOTech and what all they produce for their actual um, uh, rifles in, you know, bigger optics. So I have been impressed by them. However, I haven't uh, had the time to physically put it on anything. And then also it should fit right on the Spectre Comp. So I'm very excited to try this. Uh, looks like, you know, unboxing. You might be able to just get by with squeezing this off, but it looks pretty tight. So I'm not sure. Yeah, it looks like I can do it and not ruin the the plaque because the only other thing is to peel peel this up which i don't want to do so the box i actually really like the presentation uh looks just like a sig box um there's actually another box that uses these actual in and outward panels and i can't think of it off the top of my head but looks really nice and before i start let me just say uh everything that you see here is all funded by me so there's no um you know kind of uh bias towards any of this and then more importantly um you know, you're getting an honest uh, review. So it looks like we got, was this a sticker? Yeah, we got a sticker, owner's manual, registration for warranty, and optic, and it looks like it comes with a cover. That's pretty cool. Okay, what we got here are screws. Screws and a tool, awesome. Might use these as opposed to the ones that I got, but. Let's see. Comes with a flat head. Oh, okay. So they're two separate tools. I was trying to look. It looked like the way I had it, it looked like maybe this popped off and then that came out, but that's not the case. Let me empty these out so you can see what I was saying. The way that it came in the packaging, it looked like like this behind it. So I was like, I didn't know if this had to come off and then you put this on, but no, they're two separate tools. So we got those guys, got some screws, got some more screws. I think that's it here. Yes, that's actually really nice foam padding. It's actually fitted. So presentation's pretty um, excellent. I actually like that better than um, the RMR just comes, you know, kind of just, I mean, as far as I remember, or yeah, no, 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 the RMR comes in just basically top and bottom cushion and then underneath it, you get some manuals and you do get some uh, screws, which is nice, but they've never fit anything that I've ever bought. So this is what it is. <clears throat> so it looks like you get two sets of screws. These might be it, um, just from kind of taking a quick peek at it. Check it, check it. Okay, safety. So I can actually see that it's clear on camera. So let's move a little further, get this out of the way. Um, so, all right, let's see. Just finger tightened these guys. It's gonna be closed. These might actually be too long. The threads are different, so I have to see if I have the correct screws for this. Let's go ahead and take this guy out. Okay. Right off the bat, very large window. Let's see. I would imagine it comes with a battery already installed. It does. Okay, so much larger window. Very, very clear dot. So let's power up this guy. I also hate the fact that on the RMR, great optic, super durable, has, you know, plenty of, um, you know, accolades for all it has to offer, all that stuff, which is great. Um, I really like it. If this is something that I could have for, um, or I would depend on, I, I still would depend on the reliability of this one versus the EOTech just because of the actual dimensions and the, the designing behind it. But just so you see, you have a very limited window, and the RMR obviously is very clear as well, or same as far as clarity. Uh, thickness, the EOTech is a little thicker, but just look at, let me get closer, look at how much more window space you get. The corners are really big because that when they go out and you're trying to fish for the dot like that, if they're hanging out up here, 
you can't find it over here. So let me show you what I'm talking about. So if it's up here, I mean, you, it looks like it's normal. You start fishing around, you can see it's very, very tough to find it. You kind of have to do some big moves just to find it. As opposed to this guy, I mean, no matter really what you do, it's kind of, because that lens is so large, you get so much more, um, you know, kind of, I don't know what the technical term is. I'm going to call it peripheral space. I just made that up for my own meaning, even though if it doesn't make sense to you guys, I apologize, but you get a lot more than just that kind of that arch. You're getting the whole square, which is really, really nice. So hopefully these screws uh, can mount up directly. We'll see. Fitment's really nice on it. I think that looks pretty amazing. Let's see, let me see if I can actually see. It looks like it lines up fine. I don't know if these screws are gonna work for this though. I feel like they're not. It looks like they might be. The screw, top, the top of the screws might be too big. Let me see. I don't think these other ones will fit. I think it's too big of the thread. So I might need some screws. Which, of course, I should have looked into, but just like everyone else, I make mistakes too, guys. So I apologize for this, but um, yeah, because these screws fit exactly because I have the RMR mounted with this. So let's see, maybe, just maybe it will fit. I'm just doing it wrong, which is also a possibility. Uh, it's close. It might fit. It might not. Let's see. Let me get my Allen key out. Let's see if we can put this together. Really don't want to scratch the optic up, even though, I mean, it will at some point, but the whole purpose of it is not to just immediately start ruining it. So let's see if we get this going. I'm not thinking it's gonna make it. I think it's getting friction there. It feels tough already to move. Yeah, it's not gonna make it. Well, guys, as far as it goes, yeah, I haven't scratched anything up yet, but I mean, as far as it goes, once it's actually mounted on the gun, you'll be able to look through the sights. You can see it obviously needs, it needs sighted but it will look something like that. And then also the nicer thing, when you don't have, when you have, obviously these are suppressor height sights. When you have the smaller sights and, uh, or even suppressor height sights, even with this, you can see, when you get this guy on there, again, I'm just fumbling because I don't have the screws. You can, you don't have to actually line up the sights if you have it zeroed and you get a lot of space in between that you can just fire. And that's what I really like about the SRO. It goes up so high. You don't have to get it that close to the iron sights. You have a lot faster um, sight picture or sight acquisition um, because of how big the sight picture is that um, it really just makes it that much quicker, especially when you're trying to do follow-up shots. Um, I'm going to tell you right now, I think that this optic's going to be 10 out of 10. I really like it. I bought this one because I think that it's going to be a little bit more heavy duty than the SRO. The SRO is mainly for competition. I don't know what the purpose of this one is, to be fair. I've just liked it, and I ended up buying it, um, if I'm being completely honest. Uh, so, durable, rugged, housing, aluminum, glass lens, heads-up display window. Um, let's see, anything else? Speed, flexible, auto shutoff, 8. Uh, setting seven daytime one extra bright one nv setting auto shut down um, auto uh, shut off or always on one battery top loading battery life is at three moa at brightness is twenty five thousand hours which that's what i got is the three moa so that is what it is i mean it claims to be durable and rugged and i'm sure they are i mean like i said they make the optics for the rifles so i'm very very excited i love the fact that it has the america logo on there um, so, you know, I will progress and, and let you guys know how this goes. I'm going to get some screws for this guy. I'm pretty bummed out. I didn't have that. I actually wanted to take this to the range to make a follow-up video. Doesn't look like I'll be able to do that. So apologize for that guys, but stay tuned. We're going to keep going. Um, and then actually I did buy this from Euro Optic and I had a really good sale. So, um, I want to say with everything, it was just right around 300 bucks, which is a steal. I mean, that's half of the price of the RMR. So, 
keep that in mind if you're looking around for optics and you know you don't want to pay that extra money for the I don't know if I said RMR, but it's half the money for the SRO. The RMR doesn't fall by, far behind uh, the SRO in pricing either way. But if you want to save some extra money, get a great um, uh, optic that's durable, according to this. Um, you know, this is definitely a great picture, uh, a great option. And it's got the Delta Point Pro footprint. So it is uh, essentially the same as RMR because the RMR and the Delta Point uh, Pro, Pro both fit on this um to my knowledge i know other people that have mounted it at least on youtube so i'd assume that they're exactly the same footprint um so you know we'll just stay tuned for the future stuff for the future content on this stuff and uh, we'll kind of go from there i'll let you know what my grapes are if any with this guy but it looks really nice i really like how clear the dot is the lens doesn't have a whole lot of tint to it um as you can see i mean let's see if we can pick that up this guy has a ton of tint on it this guy, not so much. You see, you can pretty much just go straight through. And this guy has a ton of tint on it. You can actually see the dot. Oh, you can see it on both. But you can see how much more tint there is on this one as opposed to this one. A lot more on the RMR. So we'll see how that goes. I mean, it's never really bothered me before. I know a lot of people love Holosun. I have had a couple Holosuns. Never really kept them um, for other reasons, but the tint has never really bothered me. Um, you know, I think that the tent definitely is nice if you are having something that's obstructing your vision. That's the whole purpose behind it, but I haven't ever seen a, a need for it. So, you know, with that being said, I, I really like the box. I like the fact that it does come with screws. I wish it would have had the screws for this, but that's always the case with essentially everything that I buy. And then the next thing you know, I'm looking up uh, thread pitches and trying to figure out what screws are what. And uh, I'm pretty sure I know this one pretty much by heart. I think it's like six and yeah, see, I lied. It's like six and a half by 0.40 or something. Um, so these screws are pretty um, rare. A lot of, uh, I think I actually got these from C&H Precision, and they've been good screws. I really like, I, I pref much prefer like the T10 screw top as opposed to the Allen key. These are a lot easier to strip, so you have to be really careful with. And then also with the, the T10 screw, uh, torque uh, bit, you can um, actually... Uh, get a torque um, gauge. I have several of those in that size. I mean, I'm sure you can get a Helen bit for this too, um, but I think it's a little bit more accurate with that. That's just my, you know, two cents on that. So awesome guys. Thanks so much for watching and uh, we will have more to follow in the future.